Sheriff, over to the serve then. Just underway then. And that's a big backhand from Maria Sharapova. And she's yeah, much more of a chance than a hard court, funnily enough. Let's go. Why, Joe? I think it just gives Maria a little bit more. Positive start. Not for long. Okay, Sharapova really dominating the opening. It's more like it. So first ace. Wow. Well, this is a marvellous start from uh, Maria Sharapa. Hey, of course, a very good player for Germany in Davis Cup on the men's tour. Mm -hmm. If you're going to serve wide, you've got to get it wider than that. feeling that was wide. Yeah. I suspect Sharapova might have been between the line judge and the actual. Yeah. It didn't clear the line, that's for sure. There is a mark there. Wait, does it have? <laughs> Very near the line. <laughs> You're not going to win the argument, so don't waste your effort. She, well, she just isn't going to get it changed. He Razdaki knew that was the mark. I wonder if we can see it from this angle. Ah. Yep, that's good. And that's a third ace. Second time in a row, she's won a service game with three game advantage. Yeah, what a super wrong footer. She looked as though she's going to hit it. There is the double break. Hit. 
What lovely footwork from Sheriff Over. <laughs> what a great way to end it with your fifth ace, the big kicker. That wide. And the second serve. A terrific set of tennis from Maria Sharapova. She takes it 6 1. Perhaps Sharapova was so surprised that the serve came in that she. <laughs> Well, it seems I've thrown the sharp over a bit. It's <laughs> the irony of ironies, isn't it? <laughs> oh, mm. my goodness. Well, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge hole from Azarenka. Yeah. Considering she's... It was very well timed. I think actually this is a decent return. Hammered in to the corner and just beautifully tight. Statistics to die for winning 90% of the points behind your first serve. This is sort of John Eisner stats, isn't it? Yes. Super serve. Uh, Zarenka thinks she might have got that one. Sharapova says, I don't know. Which suggests to me it might well have caught the line. Yeah. Just dropping the ball too short, Sharapova. And here's a. Hmm. Got it back uh, just when she needed it. Yeah, it's in. Yeah, right onto the line. So both of them are kicking away the mark. And she realises that it did indeed clean the line. But she could have hit this. And mm. <laughs> As you pointed out, Dave, she's certainly going for it. Found the line again, didn't yes, it? Yes. It... Well, some impressive hitting from Sharapova. They've into fight fire with French fist as she waits for the serve. Another one on the line. Well, dare I say it, Sharon Paver's moving better than Azarenka on this court. Look at that. Right back. They've both had a little slide into it, but look at the recovery. Third ace. It's 
very well judged. This time, taking a guard. Yeah, just shuffles the feet across to give herself room. So, third break point of the game. Hold again from Victoria Azarenka. <laughs> Not to fret about them. And there's our seventh ace. That shot is the one that's working. 57. Oh. Whoa. Another one plumb on the line, and it's yet another break. There's that back end down the line yet again, and yet again. You know, Azarenka was quite near this one. Finally gets the breakthrough. Sharapova moves ahead. Hmm. That was terrific serving. The way to back up a break with a love service game, her first. Yeah, well, swinging freely. Hmm. Not quite in the middle of the racket, but. Yeah, you think, you know, is she going to go to that forehand side? And that's what Azarenka is wondering as well. She doesn't know. In the last service game. And that will do for starters. And down the line this evening has been. Oh. Should never have got away with that, but she did, and it's three championship points for Sharapova. Uh, no half. That will do it. Serves it out to love. Last two service games held to love. It is the first title of the year for Maria Sharapova. She has beaten the world number one. Victoria Azarenka will be able to say, ah, oh, well, I wasn't fully fit. You plug that into the mental computer. Yeah. But you can't take away the delight for Sharapova. Yeah, she plays awfully well on clay, Sharapova. Yeah, I mean, that was hard fought, even with the injury to Azarenka. But you see how much it means to her. And psychologically, that is a huge for Sharapova to just get over that hurdle because the last couple of matches have been a bit of a drubbing. I do hope Azarenka recovers all right for the rest of the clay court season there. So coach looking rather glum. 
Yeah. I mean, she will have a, not a week off, obviously. She'll be trying to practice for a week's recovery time before we uh, all head down to the Kayamaka Cup in Madrid for the start of the two big warm-up tournaments uh, to Roland Garros, Madrid followed by Rome. Not that uh, Stuttgart isn't a big tournament, it's one of the players' favourites and uh, it's really lived up to its reputation this week with the top four players in the world contesting the semi-finals but uh, no doubt who was the better player on the night and a big big win for Maria Sharapova and having reached the semi-finals of Roland Garros last year she'll be looking to go all the way this year it really will be a a fascinating tournament. Can Lina recapture the form of last year? Will Azarenka be fully fit? What about uh, Petra Kvitova on the clay court? Who knows? But it's Maria Sharapova who wins the Porsche Grand Prix in Stuttgart. Well, it's lovely to see that reaction. That's how much it means to her. And, yeah, looking forward to Roland Garros, that is for sure. With a lot of these women playing excellent tennis. We've seen it all this week. A great showcase for the WTA. Well, we have uh, a week off ourselves on Eurosport. Two warm-up tournaments and then, of course, uh, to bringing you the second major of the year in the French capital. <laughs> Pretty pleased with life. Of course, big year for her, getting married in November. We understand in Turkey, where of course the uh, season-ending championships are held and where her fiancé now plays his basketball. Yeah, lots to look forward to for Sharapo, but I love the way she was talking coming into this event, so positive about the clay and how hard she was going to work on it to win the matches, and she's shown exactly that. So the match statistics and the 31 winners. That's impressive. Deswegen sage ich auch nicht die Verliererin, sondern die Finalistin beim Porsche Tennis Grand Prix 2012. Die Nummer 1 der Welt, Victoria Azarenka. That's the runner up. Comes up to collect her prize first. And of course the check for 62,500 US dollars. Bigger, just a quick word. I know, I know it's sad. And um, how was it for you today on the court? By the way, a fantastic week. Uh, well, obviously not happy that you know I lost in the final, but congratulations to Maria. She did a good week and uh, you know good job. So um, good luck with the rest. So, but you know, still a good week for me. I'm happy to be here, and uh, hopefully I can do better next year. I think it was. Thanks a lot. Ja, also sie sagt, sie hätte natürlich gerne gewonnen, aber heute gab es keine Chance gegen Maria Sharapova. Sie ist natürlich ein bisschen traurig, aber eigentlich war es eine gute Woche für sie. Blumen gab es von Markus Günther und den Pokal von Dr. Wolfgang Porsche. Geben wir ihr noch mal ein bisschen mehr mit. Vielen Dank noch mal, Vika. A fantastic week. Uh, well, obviously not happy that you know I lost in the final, but congratulations to Maria. She did a good week and uh, you know good job so um good luck with the rest so but you know still a good week for me i'm happy to be here and uh, hopefully i can do better next year i think it was thanks a lot ja also sie sagt uh, sie hätte natürlich gerne gewonnen aber heute gab es keine chance gegen maria sharapova sie ist natürlich ein bisschen traurig aber eigentlich war es eine gute woche für sie blumen gab es von markus günther und den pokal von dr wolfgang porsche Geben wir ihr noch mal ein bisschen mehr mit. Vielen Dank noch mal, Vika Azarenka. So, ich habe sie selten so swingen sehen nach einem Sieg. Maria, I really was surprised about your dancing. 
Ähm, die Siegerin zum ersten Mal überhaupt in Stuttgart dabei. Das ist natürlich auch den Herrschaften hier zu verdanken, dass ein Superstar, ein weiterer nach Stuttgart gekommen ist. Die kommt hierher, sagt vorher noch, auf Sand kann ich eigentlich gar nicht spielen und gewinnt das Ding. Die Siegerin Porsche Tennis Grand Prix 2012, Maria Sharapova. Ich frage Sie mal, ob Sie selber überrascht ist. Maria, do you surprise yourself sometimes? Well, um, I don't know about surprise. I'm just happy and, uh, you know, in such a tough tournament, such um, you know, difficult opponents, um, you know, I was able to win this tournament and, you know, so unfortunate. Vico was um, extremely injured today and, um, you know, just couldn't, couldn't really perform her game. And, um, but I'm really happy to be the champion here for the first year. So, um, yeah. Also ich weiß nicht, ob ihr mich überrascht habt, aber ich bin natürlich sehr glücklich. Noch einmal auch in Gedanken natürlich an die Gegner und sie meint, ja, also ich habe wirklich tolles Tennis hier gespielt. Your box is very important. Deine Box ist sehr important. Maybe we can take a look over there so you see how they react after the match point. Maybe that's uh, interesting. I don't know if I want to see that. <lacht> Pardon? I don't know if I want to see that. <lacht> Why not? Also sie möchte das gar nicht sehen. Why not? Sometimes a little scary, but... Während jetzt... Der yep. Preis übergeben wird. Sie hat noch gesagt, Mensch, It's a very frank admission that she came here just to get a little bit of extra play court practice. Well, she certainly got that, winning the tournament. And um, I would have thought, not that we journalists are allowed to bet on tennis matches, of course, but the odds on her winning the French must have certainly uh, closed. I would think so. The way she went about playing on a clay court, I think that.